Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle Old Football System. We want to go over our 9-1-1 West Coast passing game here. It's a pocket pass, and from the gun then we'll take a, a quick three-step drop. So it's essentially a five-step uh, drop timing here, classic West Coast, where we want to attack specific coverages with specific concepts. And then the reason we call it 9-1-1 is we chunk uh, all the signals together into one simple movement signal so that we can go really fast with it and use it in your two-minute offense. Let's take a look. Real quick, we'll go over the concepts and give you the signals for each of them. And again, the specific coverages that are made to be. First one is Astros, which is all hitch or classic West Coast base pass. Uh, great against cover three, cover four. Just gonna have the directional pinky and pointer upward. Tigers is a triangle or delta concept. It's a great against all coverages. Got some built-in hot blitz beaters there. We're gonna have five fingers circling downwards. Cards is your classic corner uh, whip. It's a smash concept. We're gonna go ahead and have a directional pointer circling at the receivers and the running backs and quarterbacks. Twins is another smash concept, but we do levels on the backside, so we call this twins a tilt concept. We're going to have our directional peace sign with the palm facing inwards. And last is a Mets or a mesh. It's a mesh sit that Ohio, so we got from Ohio State, and that's going to have the uh, directional five fingers facing inward. Great against uh, man coverage is there. All right. Last then we want to go through the pass protections. What we're going to do our base pass pro again is our half slide pass protection, six man protection. If we don't say anything, then it's automatically that. There's no signal to it. Lisa and Ray, that's why, again, with Astros, it's a directional signal. So if I put up my right as you see it, this would be a left protection call. So this would be Astros, Lisa, Lisa. Okay. Um, if we want to go ahead and go stay six man, but free release the back and have the H um, go ahead and replace him and become the protector, we use a Liz and a Rip, which is hand bent inward, again directional, and Lizard and Ripper just changes the route for the back, but the H is still blocking, it's bent downward. Another one that we like to use more, though, is just go what I call solo pro, where we're going to go five man and free release the B back and the H back. And we just call that Lolo and Robo. And again, you're just going to have your five fingers up with a palm facing, again, directional. You can use a seven man where we do a max pro, both the, the back and the H stay in to block. I don't like that as a rule, but we use then directional fist. Uh, and the opposite hand up here, and that's a low max remax. Okay, you can see here then uh, about our practice plan. We like to use different phases here in the teaching. Uh, where we like to use with this West Coast is what we, in the red there on the left, is called a drill 25. We're gonna have two quarterbacks going with the five receivers against um, defenders. Usually we use coaches here or uh, some position players to go ahead and simulate the defense so we can just have the reads and go through that progression. Once you get that, then you can go to a classic uh, seven on seven pass skelly. So here's an example of it. You can see here on the left, we're gonna have quarterback one and quarterback two going, running that base pass or Astros. Quarterback one is assuming there's free access. This is gonna go between the X and the H backside, Q2 assumes that we have free access uh, to the front side and now he's going to use his classic three receiver going inside out with the a to the z to check down to the b while that's going on on the right the alignment along with the other backs then will work the pass protections that we go through and this is our classic six uh six man slide pass pro all right first one here is astros again this is classic West Coast base pass. What we're gonna do here is, again, the quarterback will look to the backside, which is to the right. If he has free access, meaning the will is inside the box there and the corner's off, 
he can go ahead and read because we've got great numbers. He would go H to X inside out. But most of the time you don't. So it's going to allow us to just go with our classic front side read of reading the SAM backer now. We're going to look inside out, A to the Z, and then check down to the flats with the back, number three. One thing here we do differently and had a ton of success with for years is we use our bender read concept with the A, um, where if the middle is wide open, a lot of times in man blitzes, instead of hitching up, you'll just go ahead and continue up to the post and get your uh, big play with it. Real simple, nice progression, classic uh, to start with in your West Coast passing grade against any type of zone, but you can see we've got a built-in man beater with the A receiver. Now what's neat here is you can do this out of three by one, and we use again our three over one rule with the H back, where he's gonna go ahead and go from his three receivers back over to the one receiver, running his over route. He can hitch this down at any time once he gets across the formation into open grass. Read progression is exactly the same. If he has free access, quarterback can go ahead and check that Sam quick, but then go right back to the X and hit that all day. Otherwise, we go still inside out, uh, high low with our read one, two, three. Again, we can use our Liz or rip protection where we free release the back and then still stay six man and have the H stay in. Again, quarterback checks for free access away, but if not, now when we do a free release with the back, we just change the order from low to high. So he's gonna look for the back first, re still reading the Sam. If not, then he'll go to the curl and then last. So he's gonna go low to high, outside in. We just reverse the order with the free release of the back. Still using the same read key of the Sam backer. We can go five man protection, like I said, and free release the back in the H. Again, now again, looking for free access to the backside with the H and the X. If not, we reverse the order where we go back, number one, low to high to outside in one, two, three. What I really like and use the ton at the college level, because uh, it beats every coverage, and, and you'll see it's really simple out of two by two or three by one, is this Tigers uh, call we make it. It's a triangle or a delta concept. Again, it's a five-man protection, so we're free releasing, and we've got two hots built in here. Number one is the A receiver running what we call a hot under. What he's looking to do is just take two steps upfield, but he's reading the Sam in the mic, and he wants to replace them if they blitz. Um, so again, with the Sam, he wouldn't get as far across the field if he blitzed. He would settle it down. But if it's the mic, he wants to get fast underneath him and replace that mic there. And that's that first read for the quarterback. So he's reading the Sam and the mic blitz also. What makes this great is the back is free releasing. So then if the Sam or the mic does blitz and we don't feel we've got the A receiver there, he can go again to a second hot check, which is the back and the flats. The progression we like to do, though, here is classic zone is he goes one reading the Sam and mic, no blitz. Then we look for that Z running his hitch route, which again, if he feels he's got really hard pressed man inside and can't just run a hitch back, he can go ahead and turn that into a square in and run that defender. Natural uh, uh, play versus man. And then last again, you've got the back three. If we do have free access, what's neat here um, is we've got the H running his bender read now, and then we've got the X running the square in or the tin route, 10 and in. So we get a levels type concept there, great man beater or zone. When we go three by one, it's really simple. Everybody runs the same routes. So we just add the H with the bender read to the front side. Again, quarterback checks if he's got free access with the X. We can still read the salmon mic, but no blitz. We could just come back and hit that all day. If not, though, we'll go ahead and you can see now he's got really three hot reads. He's got the H running the bender. He's got the A running uh, the hot under, and he's got the back free swinging out to the flats. So again, simple way to go two by two, three by one, reads the same for the quarterback, but gives the defense a lot of different fits and can attack any coverage. Cards is your lease, is your classic corners or smash concept. We are going to mirror this, and you'll see why in the next slide. 
we're going to go ahead and get corner routes. The key there is for the A and the X to get behind and above on top of those corners, regardless of their depth. The uh, Z then runs a whip route where he wants to go in four yards and a depth of four yards and then reverse pivot and whip back out. Great man beater. H does what we call a flip. Since he's already inside, he'll just go up field three yards, do his reverse pivot and whip out to the flats. Quarterback simply picks a uh, worst located uh, cornerback in this situation and picks a side pre-snap. His check down is the B checking up in open grass in the middle if everybody drops off. Reading the corners all the way here, the quarterback is. You can see why here then we want to use the mirrored routes uh, on each side because now we use our free release by the back and have our H replace in the blocking. So we still get six man pro, but now against uh, two high teams, we can get a mismatch of our running back on a linebacker running the bender read now. So again, the middle box is open. He'll bend that to the middle. If not, he'll stay up the seam against uh, one high safety here. Quarterback now is going to go ahead and read that play side safety ox um, looking for the bender read in the middle. If that gets covered by him, then he goes right to the corner high low in there and we know we've got a mismatch. Easy way to get a big explosive play. The stars in check. Nick Sorley with time over the middle. Saquon Barkley, touchdown, Nittany Lions. I guess not long was the answer. He's going to slip right out and run right by Frightwell, the linebacker. There's no safety help in this coverage. He's the number three receiver to the field. That means it's a... Another uh, cover two beater is what we call twins. It's a tilt concept. Got here from State College High. You can see to the right, that's our zone beater. What we're going to do difference with this smash concept is the X is going to go run a dig route where he's going to get two yards from the sideline and get five yards deep. So we really stretch that corner and then we still high low him there. Again, pre-snap though, if the quarterback feels he's got a man all the way, he can go with his levels concept to the left-hand side, which is a man beater thinking the, the 10 yard, 10 route to the thin five yard in route there. So again, it's a great way to get a pre-snap and you've got zone in man beaters built in. Last then is a mesh concept. One we like to use is, is a mesh sit. This is Ohio State. So you can see you're going to get your mesh with your A and your H um, coming across, but then the X will sit behind them. So that again, if you get classic zone, the mesh crossers uh, and the defenders run with them, and then the X sits right in the middle. What the quarterback's going to do here is he is going to read the Sam or the Mike and their type of action. If the linebacker sits or drops, then he goes right to the corner and we can high low that because it's a free release by the back. Again, if the Sam or Mike blitzes, then we're gonna hit the mesh crossers um, one and two across there. Again, if it's classic zone and they all drop and run with them, we've still got the X as a check down sitting right in the middle. Here it is with uh, Ohio State, you can see the look little different, but it's the same concept where you get the two meshers and then you've got the wide receiver sitting inside and the back free releasing with it. Here it is out of three by one. Only thing changes is now the H has to run a shadow route and, and whip back out to get into his mesh concept. So we still get same integrity, only one integrity of the, the concept and the routes. H is the only one who's got to make a concept change out of three by one. As always, you want to review these with your players so they, they should know what 911 is, the different six and man protections, the different concepts and themes, and again, kind of the concepts and receivers rule with it and last pre and post snap read by your, your uh, quarterbacks. Make sure you ask them if they've got questions and then you can review those um, each time with your players. Thanks.